Good morning. It's Tuesday morning, and I hope that you are ready to engage this big, beautiful day that God has given us, and that today you will fulfill your calling. Now, if you're a believer, one who has been converted to Christ, then you need to understand that you now have a calling from Christ. Every individual who comes to know Jesus as Savior is then given a calling by that Savior to engage. Think about Peter when he met Jesus on the shoreline. Peter was told, you're a fisherman and I will make you into fishers of men. Now, the phrase we always look at is fishers of men because it's that turn of phrase. But the real important word is I will make you, make you. God will form and fashion this individual into something that he was not. He will use him in a way that he was not being used before. He will present to him a calling that he did not have before he met Christ. That's what happens with every individual who comes to know Jesus. You know, we always love to talk about Ephesians chapter 2, where it says that we are saved by grace and not by works, right? Lest any man should boast. That's verses 8 and 9. But we have to always finish the thought. There in verse 10, the Apostle Paul writes this, For we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. When we were being saved, we were being called. Called to do what God knew we could do after we met Jesus. What God knew we could become after we met Jesus. As God calls you, he is using you for his glory, for his kingdom. So every individual who has been converted is called. Every individual who is saved is now to serve. You know, there's a great line in an old Disney movie. It is in the Beauty and the Beast. And the candlestick named Lumiere is singing to Belle, the beauty who's moved into the castle. And they're putting on a dinner for her, and it's unbelievable. The plates are all dancing around. The silverware is dancing around. The food is being laid across the table. But Lumiere is excited because he says this, life is so unnerving for a servant who's not serving. You know, he understood his purpose, his calling, was to serve others. It was what he was supposed to do. It's what he was created to do. It was what he was made to do. He had a calling. And he said, if I don't have somebody to serve, then I don't have the opportunity to fulfill my purpose. Dear friend today, as you're getting started, would you pray and ask God to help you fulfill your calling today? Ask God who it is you're supposed to call and encourage. Ask God who it is you're supposed to engage with and help understand the gospel. Ask God to give you the opportunity to serve and to fulfill your calling in him. It's the best way to live. It's the best way to make today a great day. I look forward to catching up with you real soon, right here at Second Baptist Church.